Now, it, it, it's it's one of the things that, I, again, it, it is a very difficult topic to talk about, of course, because we are talking about lives here that are being murdered. There's no other way to put it. Conception is not when life begins, necessarily. Your heart begins, or your heartbeat begins six weeks after conception, which is technically when life begins. Um, you can see that you know that the 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 egg meets and and all of a sudden and, and all you can go all the, down these different things, but for simplicity, when the heartbeat begins, for me that's where life begins. And if you're talking spiritually, again, that's a whole other topic. Please don't inundate me with a whole. Of, I'm I'm trying to keep on topic here, but. Um, as I was sitting there, I think it's very, very easy to say, you know, well, we should just ban abortions. They're absolutely horrific. They're terrible and everything else. As a historian, I also have to look at what happened in, you know, Manchester, Birmingham, London, um, Liverpool in the 1950s when things like abortion was rife. Or, or sorry, things with abortion was illegal, but happened illegally and it was rife. And mothers who found themselves in, in these situations of unwanted pregnancies or as a result of horrific uh, circumstance were self-aborting. Now, if you want the details about that, I can share those with you, but it was nothing nice, it was nothing pleasant, and often came at great risk to the mother. Um, they would also go to illegal abort, uh, abortion uh, apartments. They weren't centers. They were uh, apartments where you had unsterilized equipment that was there. And these women usually would perform an abortion that would and could often kill the potential mother. So I have to be very, very much aware of my words and, and what I'm saying from that historical point of view as well, that when you make it illegal to have abortions, for lack of a better term, you're doing an injustice and a disservice to the mothers, 